friends, this is Simone. I want to share five tips on how to choose the right 100 day project for you and what I came up with for my own project in this video. Let's start. I have been thinking really hard about what I would love to do for the 100 day project and I thought maybe my process of choosing the perfect, let's see how that works out, project for me helps you as well in choosing one. If you do not know what the 100 day project is, let me read the definition to you that you can find um, on the internet. I will link the website on the in the description box below and you can go and check it out. The 100 day project is a free art project that takes place online. Every spring, thousands of people all around the world commit to 100 days of exploring their creativity. Anyone can join. Yes, that means you. The idea is simple. Choose a project, do it every day for 100 days and share your process on Instagram with the hashtag, hashtag the 100 day project. And the 100 day project starts on April 2nd, 2019. So you still have time to choose the project for you. Let me share my first tip on choosing the 100 day project. And that is really a simple one. I guess everybody does it. Brainstorm your ideas. <clears throat> Write down everything you would love to explore creatively and just let it all out on paper. And do not um, stop when something sounds or seems unreachable, undoable. Just write it down on paper. This is a great way to explore what you have been wanting to do creatively for a long time, but never maybe got around to doing it. Once you have your huge list of things you would love to do, then take a step back and listen to my tip number two which is look at your everyday life. How much time do you really have every day to spend on yet another creative project? And that's where I'm going to share my project in the end of this video. That is where I realized I needed to do something differently. So what is it that, how does your daily life look like? Do you have 15 minutes, 10 minutes? Do you have the time to do whatever kind of creative project you want to do every day for the next 100 days? Is there something you could let go of and do the 100 day project instead? Think about this and keep this thought in mind when you go to step number three, which is look at the calendar and count 100 days from April 2nd, 2019. And I should have done that because I don't even remember when the 100 day project ends, but I know it's sometime in the beginning of July. So look at your planner, at a calendar, look at all the dates that you're already booked. What is happening between now, April 2nd, and the beginning of July, 2019 in your life? that you already know of. So I looked at it and I found that I will be traveling at least twice during that time. I know that my son is playing Little League Baseball, so I will be on a baseball field a lot during this time. And I'm also working. My kids are getting off school in the beginning of June. These are all things that I need to take into consideration when I'm choosing my project. And let me just go off on a tangent and show you my example that I have been thinking about or that I was having keeping in my back in the back of my head for for this project, which I then decided not to pursue. So I have this Hobonichi cover. And I don't have a Kobunichi in there. It's a um, Nanami Cafe Note Tomoe River Paper journal in A6 size. So it looks, from the outside, it looks like a, hobu a Hobunichi. 
and I just recently abandoned this as my journal. And I wasn't sure if I would feel guilty about this or if I should consider this a failure. <clears throat> I have come to the conclusion I would not consider this a failure, but I would have really loved to maybe challenge myself to use it every day for the next 100 days and find out what I really like about it and what I don't like about it. It is a nice idea and then I, I actually even started using watercolor in here and writing out quotes here. Uh, let me flip over here. I think, yeah, that that is when I started maybe doing something else with it, with it. But I really liked using it that way, but I didn't make the time to do it daily. And then, um, so I looked at my calendar and my planner and I found that if I'm going to travel to Germany and I would have committed to 100 days of this project, and I'm here, here right now, I'm taking this very literal. I really would love to do this practice daily and not at one point say oh well I'm just going to catch up the last three four days on the weekends because I know for me that is not working it will be then slowly going into the habit of doing things only on the weekends and then it's not a daily practice anymore so I want something that is doable daily even when traveling which leads me to the third, fourth tip. So we did the brainstorming, the ideas, we looked at our life and if there is actually room. We looked at the long-term commitment and found other commitments and things, obstacles along the way that we need to take into consideration. And now the fifth one, no, sorry, I'm all scrambled up. I need to look at my cheat sheet because I don't remember what the fourth spot was. The fourth thing that I would love for you to do when you still think about doing the 100 day project is look at your daily routine. Where in the day can you fit in this creative process every day? It is so much easier to have the 100 day project being part of your daily routine instead of thinking about it every day and finding another spot for it. I mean, so guess what? This is the third or fourth time that I'm filming this and my computer crashed right when I was at the step number four or tip number four for choosing the right creative or the right project to make your 100 day project successful. Now, the last one I think is the most important one and it is, I don't even really know how to put it into a very short catchphrase, but choose a title or a project that doesn't limit you. What do I mean by that? Um, well, maybe you want to do 100 days of illustration and maybe you would love to illustrate more cats. You could choose the title or the project 100 days of cat illustrations. That's fine. But what if you run out of ideas on day 76? Then having the way, having a more generic title, even though you might focus on cats, is just so much better for you, for your creativity and for your success. Because then on day 76, you can stop drawing illustrating cats and you can start illustrating dogs or bugs or, I don't know, cars. Um, as a example on how or what I did on choosing my 
very generic title, which is called um, 15 Minutes of Creative Paper Play. I had originally planned to use this as my 100 day project. And I had actually thought that I was going to do 100 days of watercolor quotes in this. And even though I might do some watercolor quotes in this, I am not going to commit to doing 100 days of, I'm not going to commit to solely using this journal and watercolor. I, as I said, I am traveling and I know that I won't be taking my watercolors. Uh, if I wanted to have a travel set, I would need to buy one. And I really, I actually considered buying one, but then I thought, no, let me just um, do something that is important for me. And well, let me think what is the most important part? Is it this book? Is it the watercolors? What is it that I think I want to do more? What do I want to do on a daily basis? And that is actually taking the time to create with paper. And so by setting, saying, limiting it to 15 minutes, that's not very much. I can actually even do it when I have a 4.30 a.m. shift and I'm working. There's always 15 minutes for me to do creative paper play. I want to do paper play. I don't necessarily need to journal. I would love to journal along the way, but the most important part for me is to do something with paper every day. And so I decided to not limit, here the hands are talking, to not limit my title, my project, or not limit myself to such a very narrow, thing and spread it out, broaden it up so that I can do lots of different things and they all fall under that creative category and count towards my 100 day project. I am super excited on all the different things that I'm going to try. I don't want to do the same thing over and over again, but I also don't want to like go out and do 100 different things. Let's just see how this all evolves. And yeah, I think that's it. I shared my five tips and I shared the project that I came up with after I thought of all of those different things. And I cannot wait to start. What are you doing? for your 100 day project. Is this a new concept for you? Are you now considering participating or have you been participating in the past years? Tell me about your experience in the comments below. I would love to hear and I, would, I will see you soon. Until then, bye.